I'm going to load up this native Expressive Chords device. There are a number of presets, we're going to see those in a moment. But first, let's just take a quick look at the basic device itself and how it works. So essentially, the way Expressive Chords works is we have these banks of different kinds of chords. You can see I've got all these kind of blocks here. And each one of these is a different chord. I can click to trigger that chord. Or I can play notes on uh, either on my typing keyboard here, or if I've got a MIDI controller, I can play notes to trigger those chords. Again, here on my typing keyboard, I can do that as well. So each note along the keyboard, well, not every note, but there's a selection of notes along the keyboard that are mapped to different chords. Below this, we have a couple controls that affect how the chord is sort of played back. So the tilt control balances the lower notes versus the higher notes in the chord. So you'll hear if I turn this all the way to the left, then I play a chord. You can hear we're getting like much more of the lower notes, the velocity of the higher notes is, is lower down. If I turn this all the way to the other side, we're hearing those higher notes in the chord a lot more than the lower notes. I'm just gonna set this to zero right in the middle so we're getting even balance across the chord. You can invert the chord here as well. So you can hear as I turn that up, what that does is it takes lower notes in the chord and moves them up an octave. You can have the chord strummed, which can sound really nice. 